Hello everyone. So today I am going to talk about like how we are going to read YML file in a Spring Boot project. So reading the data from the YML file is very easy nowadays. Basically we need some details like snake YML is uh, jar over there. So based on that we can read the data and it's very easy to read uh, the data using in the Spring Boot project for uh, data from the YML file. But today actually I'm going to explain like how we are going to read data using the Jackson. So you know like uh, Jackson is there. So uh, this uh, Jackson data for my first XML how we are going to read data using this. Okay, so for that I need to create one Spring Boot project. Uh, so I have already created one uh, Spring Boot project over here and already imported over here. So and the dependencies wise I used uh, like uh, Spring Boot uh, just uh, start our web because uh, nothing else I'm going to uh, need over here basically. Only this is sufficient to work on this one. And as Jackson as I'm going to use over here. So for that I am uh, I'm going to use this uh, like Jackson data format uh, Jackson data format dependencies over here. So this one I need to reading the YML file. Okay, so this one basically we are going to use over here. So dependencies we don't need. May we don't need to mention it will be overrated from the like uh, so Spring Boot version. So just we need this YML file so that we can read data from the YML file. Now we don't have any YML file over here. So for that basically we need to uh, basically I need to create one YML file over here. Let's say like uh, uh, one file over here and then uh, like uh, let's say products. Okay. So we can store some products information over here. And we are going to read this data into the like file. So what information we need to keep over here. Okay, so basically it's open in the VS code. So what information basically we can keep in this YML file like maybe some kind of uh, like a description. Okay. Uh, product uh, like uh, what kind of product it is like. So we need some title over here. So like maybe product details. Okay, then we can put some description. Okay, so this will be like reading reading data from YML file. Okay, next we are giving some like list of products. So like uh, we can say products then we can like uh, defining something like uh, id equals to one then uh, like name name equals to let's say like uh, demo product one then like uh, uh, we can say uh, price of this one okay so let's say hundred dollar. So in similar fashion, we can like just repeat this one for two or three. Okay, so it will be a two. Then again, it will be a two and it will be let's say 200. Okay, so this is fine for now. Next, basically, we are going to read this data from uh, like over here. So how we are going to read the data over here? So for that basically we need to use some kind of uh, like uh, uh, let's say we need to create one class over here uh, new class. So let's say read YML file. Okay. Reading data from YML file. Okay. So here basically we need to like use something like uh, implements that we need to use the command line implements command line runner. Then like uh, we need to import the run override the run method over here. 
so here basically we are going to write some logic so that like uh, we can read the data from the yml file so how we are going to read the data so here basically we are going to use some input stream like uh, this one input stream input stream this one okay so then like uh, gets to type reference dot class dot class dot get resource as stream so here basically we need to define the path of that particular yml so yml is located over here under this like resource folder products dot yml file so when you after defining the path over here means basically we are taking some inputs as a file so now like we need to use some object mapper object okay so object mapper basically what it will do it will basically object mapper is coming from uh, this uh, jackson that uh, actually uh, dependencies we have used so from there basically object mapper is coming okay so object mapper basically we need to use for reading or the parsing the data from the yml file okay object mapper we can private okay and we need to like either inject this as a auto add or maybe as a like uh, uh, as a constructor injection also you can use so constructor here so here basically we need to pass this object and then this dot object mapper request to means it's a constructor injection actually okay that we are going to use over here so now this bin is created now using this basically we need to read the value okay dot read value okay so here basically we need to pass this input stream okay okay not this actually stream this object okay and another point like as you can see over here this actually taking two values like this is the input stream and the second one is like where actually we need to casting this data okay so for that we need to create some record over here so for that let's say like uh, let me create one dt over here or maybe record let's say like order okay and this particular order is having uh, let's say first one is the title then description and then like list of products okay so as products is also not over there so so we need to create this product record also create record product okay and here also we need to like uh, create some uh, mapping over here like uh, id name and price so in id string name comma int uh, price okay so now this is done so now basically over here we need to pass this order order dot class okay so now basically it will read the data over here so now if we run this one application so it will basically return the order object over here okay order object here so now we need to just print this one like uh, uh, using this we can print this order details 
order details okay so now let us run this application okay so if we run this application then it will basically come over here and then it will read the data from the OIML file and it will also pin the data into the console so let us run this one so one it will run then it will give us the details over here it will not take much time okay obviously it will be a component okay now it is giving the exception like it's unrecognized token title expecting a json string number array but it's null actually it expecting a json but uh, means actually it's getting the json so we need to do some configurations over here to read like recognize those things from the yml file so what would be the configuration for that like we need to create the bin object mapper bin which can able to read the yml file right so here let's uh, like create one class over here like let's say config class and here basically we are going to like let's say at the rate configuration okay and now we actually we need to create the bin of like public then like object mapper of yml factory okay so that it will basically this object basically we need to create okay so it will return the object mapper of this one factory and also like instead of this factory instead of passing in a constructor basically also we need to create one uh, bin of yml factory over here as a bin something like this public okay so now like this is done now so now let us like uh, save this one okay so once it will run let's see now you can see it's uh, able to reading the data from the database right not database from the yml file like order it's having a title then description then product details right so it's now actually it's able to read the data from the like uh, yml file as a json right so this is actually about these things like how we are going to read the details from this yml file as just means uh, in, and mapping into that particular entity and now from here also we can store this data into the database also so for that basically we need to use some data jpa mapping kind of thing so this is all about this like how we are going to read the uh, like uh, details from the yml file also like we can able to map this yml file into the properties file and from there also we can able to read the data that is also another approach so, but this is the one of the one of the approach that uh, how we are going to read the data so this is all about this and uh, like uh, please press the bell icon for getting the notification for further whenever i'm going to upload any new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for your time thank you bye bye